second on item number 1501. Uh, do you want to roll, roll that, Mrs. Hill? Sure. Mr. Comfort. Uh, again, I am Victoria. I am Portisfield. At the present time, it's being thunder and being rushed through too fast. My vote is no. Mr. Montemara. Yes. Mr. Studinger. I'm satisfied with the numbers, yes. Mr. Papa. Yes. Mr. Garitano. Yes. Mrs. Shepherd. Yes. Mr. Marciante. No. Mrs. Hennon. Yes. Second, we're going to have everything together. We'll be able to reveal who the sponsor that is nominated to sponsor our field and how the rest of the end is going to work uh, to make the means in the end. And we can show that it's not going to be a burden on the taxpayers. And as long as Keystone holds to their end and we get the inspections done properly, like Glenn wants to make sure it's done right, um, that's what we want to do. Is we want to make sure our players are safe. And we want to make sure we can run all the events. So the it's, it's been a long time coming. Um, as many of the area residents know, our field is constantly bogged down with water, poor drainage, um, and limit, limits our athletes from playing on the field. So uh, collectively as a group tonight, uh, we, we made the decision to move forward uh, with Keystone uh, Sports Construction and install turf field that will be ready for the, the fall season. Just talk about, I guess, uh, why is this, uh, why was this? Uh... So essentially we have around 72 events that need to be played on the athletic field. Um, our current situation is we can only have nine of those events on the field and the remaining events are scattered around the district or we, we move them to away games. We're investing money into a field we couldn't play on regardless. Um, and we have two um, corporate sponsors uh, that are willing to donate a significant amount to the Jim Clover School District. How we utilize those funds um, is, is up to us, and we're looking to take the existing money and invest it in the current field um, with a corporate sponsor and, and move forward to the, um, to the turf field. And, and this is going to be a community thing. It's not going to be for the school. Um, we're going to host community events. Uh, we're we're going to try to draw the whole town out um, and, and to see this and use it. Um, our, our lights are on until 10 o'clock every night, so the, our community comes and walks on the track, and we're hoping to have that with the field as well. So I think is really, it, it's, it's down-selecting our corporate sponsor, um, Lehigh Valley Healthcare Network and, and St. Luke's. Um, there are, are two corporate sponsors that, that have stepped forward, really want to help the community, really want to help Jim Thorpe Area School District. Um, the other contingency is just really um, le legal things with the Keystone contract and wrapping that up. The bottom line is 1.74. Uh, we didn't make a decision yet on how we're funding this. Either we're going to fund it, you know, if we fund it under general funding or financing. But as of right now, the bottom line number is 1.74 million. We took some personal time off of work and, um, you know, put some time and in in effort into getting proposals, um, re reviewing proposals, doing a, tech e a technical evaluation of proposals, and, and really going out and actually gaining corporate sponsors um, to help our school district. And, and the big thing we, we got to realize is we're, we're not increasing taxes. We're not cutting programs. We're not putting any burden on, on our residents. Um, it, it's going to be a win for the, the whole community. Um, instead of going traditional green, we want to, you know, we want to stand out. I believe we're the best school in Carbon County, athletics and, and academics, and and hopefully, um, hopefully, it doesn't put a target on our back. But I, I believe truly we're we're top in athletics, and why not have our, our signature red on the field to to stand out? Construction going to start uh, tentatively right now in June, and it'll take about 50 days to install the field. That's seven days a week working, um, and we're projecting the. Uh, the first home football game, August 28th versus Blue Mountain, will be the first time it's played on.